What's up, all you party people? I'm back. It's been a little bit. I uh, been a heck of a, having a heck of a time with my cameras. I got down here the other day. I wanted to do a 25 Creedmoor load work up in preparation to this PRS match I had this past weekend. Recorded all this footage, got back to uh, download it, says card error or some shit like that. So I lost everything. And then I came down here, did a big uh, powder test. I used Stayball, 6.5 Stayball and some um, H4350. Did a big ladder test on those. I was getting crazy numbers. Now, mind you, in that mix, trying to get that six arc ready for my dad to shoot or for me to shoot in this match because my dad he shot with me this past weekend 75 years old he got out there and gave it a shot <laughs> he said this man is the most competitive person you'll meet when it comes to shooting he's fantastic at it he's the best shot i know he's held several national championships he was a offhand pistol guy for the longest time and got into trap shooting and then would shoot 100s and trap shooting, got bored with that, and moved on to sporting clays and whatever. He's a great shot. Anyhow, long story short, he got out there and he was very humbled. <laughs> I could not get that freaking AR-15 6 arc to work to save my life. So once again, I'm <laughs> once again I've opened that can of worms and I'm done with it. I've been talking to my man Kenny. Kenny's got the solution, he's got the fix, it's coming too. And I'm super excited. That's right! Ah! Dylan, how you doing? Oh my god, this is the best day of my life! Ah, right there! Oh, yeah. You just wait. I got a treat for you. Anyhow, I'm done messing with that six arc. AR-15, but during that time I loaded up some uh, different charges and different um, loads for it. I'd set my lab radar for 105 gram bullets, so <laughs> I got back on here, did a big ladder test for 25 Creedmoor. I was getting like SD of 10 and ES of 47, like across the board. It didn't make sense to me whatsoever, and I finally figured out what was going on. So that was all for shit. So it's been a little bit since I, I got a video up, and that's what I'm going to do today. I'm, I'm <laughs> golly, it's always something, man. I kind of over this 25 Creed more. You know, any baseball players out there, you'd warm up in the batter's box with a weight on your bat, and all of a sudden you get up there to swing, and it's like felt like a feather. It's kind of my theory. I was like, man, if I switch this back over to the six arc barrel, um, it's going to be like shooting nothing. And so uh, that's what I was going to do. I, I worked up some loads, unscrewed everything, and I could not get the barrel off. So I've messed with my, my screws on this across the board. So I'm not sure it's going to be on, but that's what we're going to test today. I may not be able to get it off and have to shoot it at this PRS match I have coming up on Sunday. Smith. And that's fine. Um, I figured I'd probably have to get this heated up in order to get that to twist off. But in all my haste, just like with everything else, got all this ammo for the six arc. I left my magazine sitting on the workbench. So I suppose I could hand load those. Um, anyhow, I've started to get this 25 cream more dialed in. I didn't shoot it well this past weekend. We had strong wind and we kept shooting in different directions for, um, in relation to the wind. About three quarters of the way through, I figured it out. Like, you know, I'm pulling up some app. It's telling me, you know, dial this, hold this much for windage. And I would, they're like, you're right. I dial down, blah, blah, blah. All I needed to do is keep it on zero and just hold on the edge of the plate. I figured it out too late. This thing's so flat. Doesn't matter what your ballistics app tells you. Just be like, yeah, hold on the edge. We're shooting in a 
10 to 15 mile an hour wind on Saturday, last Saturday and it's giving me fits just because I couldn't figure it out. The simple part was I just should have shot. Stop to worry about fucking windage. Just held on, let a rip tater chip. Yeah. So, anywho, today I've got a few shots. I've loaded up. I've got some extra ammo from the match that we didn't shoot. Poor dad, man. He's like, man, this is the most difficult thing I've ever done. And for a 75-year-old man, I get it, you know. For me, when I started out, I was totally flustered. I hate not doing well at shooting sports because I typically do really well at shooting sports. And I like to shoot. Um, I'm fairly competitive by nature. But the whole pursuit of accuracy is one of those things that drives me nuts that I'll tinker with and tinker with and tinker with. Finally got this 25 cream more, man. I got the, the load. It's 39 grains, CF, uh, 39 grains, H4350. Um, two weeks ago when I was out here, of course, I lost the footage. I'll have to show you the target. I got five shots in a bug hole. All right, this is that load test that I did. I take this 25 cream more bullet. Get it close to the neck as possible. 0.2565, hit our zero. Measure this outside to outside. 0 0.2200. Point two two. On those numbers, it was about an ES of 20 and SD of 10 on those five shots. Average velocity 2760. After I fucked with this whole thing and messed with it, um, I'm going to verify zero and I'll show you uh, some of the shots I, or some of the targets I shot with that load. One's still up on the, on the backer down here. I have no idea where this is going to hit. We'll probably shoot at this steel plate and see where it is first before I go <laughs> shooting at this target. It's all shot up. I've got some target dots down there, but we'll go test it out. I'm going to turn this lab radar on too, just to verify. It's about 50 feet per second higher than the last test I did on the same charge. I think probably because it's warmer out maybe too, a little bit. All right, put this on the plate, see where we are. Twenty-seven forty-two. Still have my dope dialed in from the match. I imagine that was high. Dead on. Twenty-seven forty. <clears throat> Got these rounds at the match. My dad was shooting. And he was trying to load these, and it wouldn't chamber. I have no idea why. He's unfamiliar with the gun and probably flustered and whatnot. Let's see if I can get them to go today. No, cannot shut the bolt on them. I don't know why. Second fire brass, full length, resized, seated uh, the standards of everything else. Got four of them that did not chamber at that match. I have to get a mic on them and see what's going on, see if I can figure it out. Twenty-seven, twenty-eight, and it was low. Twenty-seven, thirty-nine. Do one more for kicks and giggles for a five-shot group on this. Twenty-seven, thirty-seven. ES of fourteen, SD of five point six on the five-shot. I had that one that was low. Everything else is right in there, man. I'll take you down. Let's see the the target. Here's where I was aiming, that was my first shot. Cold bore. Actually, this is my second shot, my first shot. Probably is up there somewhere. Still had it dialed up to like 3.5 mil. Here's my first shot, second, third, fourth, fifth. The other day when I was out here shooting with my dad, get warmed up for this match. That's a five shot group at 100 yards with that 25 Creed more. 39 grains h4350 there's the numbers average 2737 es14 sd56 
Highest was 27.42, lowest was 27.28. That's a little, a little slower than when I was out here a week and a half ago. Same charge, so I'm not sure why, but uh, I guess that's why you always get some readings before you shoot a match. I got a buddy coming out here, hopefully, he's an old high school friend of mine, and I've seen him at the last two PRS matches I've shot. Hopefully he he can give me some pointers. He lives right up the road and said he's gonna swing by. And maybe I'll include you along on some of that. And my man Kenny, he's developed a new cartridge. He's wildcatted a new round. And I'm excited to get uh, get some stuff for that. <laughs> he's gonna send me an AR barrel. I'm gonna take it off Boba Fat, the current one I have, and we're gonna put this new barrel on there and hopefully my woes with Boba Fett will be solved I'm gonna have him spin up a barrel for Darth Sidious here I maybe only have two opportunities maybe three to shoot matches this summer and then I get too busy we got a lot going on with family vacations and kids activities so I have a, a match this Sunday one towards the end of the month and maybe maybe I can get one in on June but that's it. So I got three left. Hopefully I'll be able to get that AR barrel um, in and play with it before I, I, I shoot my last match because I'd like to shoot that in it maybe. I definitely won't be able to get the big barrel for the big gun this year for any matches. But good things come to those who wait. Kenny's a busy man. I'll put a bug in his ear and he'll get to me, I'm sure, on the big barrel. It's going to be fun, y'all. I'm really excited about getting it hooked up and letting some lead fly. Well, I went up top and I got the range back. I was looking for something else and I, I've discovered I had about another 15 rounds that I'd loaded up. So we're gonna shoot some more. This time I'm gonna put a new targ dot up and I'm gonna put this camera down on the target. Spit. We'll put a new targ dot right there. Well, there you go. One, two, three, four, five. Not that. Numbers were kind of crazy on this one too. I uh, had one that hit 28 feet per second, which is weird because this load is usually 2740 to 2760 all day long. Uh, only thing I can think of, those rounds were sitting in my range bag up there in the sun. Those are the rounds I just shot. Also, when I was loading up, I'm trying to remember, I had, <laughs> the day before the match, I had 200 rounds to load, which anybody that reloads one by one by hand knows is a tedious process. I went through and deprimed everything, resized, went through, primed and next neck turned or put a, all the shells through a mandrel. And then I uh, threw the powder and put the bullet in. I had two different lots of 4350, two different cans. That may have something to do with it. Plus I'd taken my muzzle brake off. It's definitely not what it was the other day, but it's still acceptable. I don't have too much time to mess with it. If, even if I do set, decide to take this barrel off and put the six arc barrel on, I don't know. I'm debating. There are the numbers on that. I had a zinger. 20, 2801 was my highest feet per second on that. Lowest was 2743. Average 2767. ES58, SD21. Because I have the ammo, I'm shoot some more. Why not? Yeah. I'm gonna give her a click up, a little bit low. Go one click up. Let's see what kind of group we can get. 2744 2751 First one was low right, second one was bullseye 2758 2767 2771 ES28 SD11 One big ragged hole All right, there's a 10-shotter. I think that was from uh, 
I have to go back through the, through the footage. I think that may have been from the first string. I don't know, but I came up a click. Seems to be the ticket. I'm debating now that I got that barrel heated up, see if I can get it off and put that six arc barrel on, but <laughs> lesson from the last time I did this crap before a match lesson was don't change things up before match so i'm gonna i'm gonna stick with the 25 creed for now i wanted to play at that six arc but not today but your shoulder loved you it doesn't kick too bad it's just the concussion yeah all right folks this is a 338 lapua neck down to 30 cal this is the wise man john wisely's special creation for long range shooting what chassis do you have on that? Uh, Terry Cross chassis. Terry Cross. Terry Cross. KMW. Hmm. 230 grain A tip <laughs> at 31.85. Feet per second? Yes. For comparison, there's a 25 Creedmoor. <laughs> Make that 25 Creedmoor look like a 223. Uh, let's get the dope on that. And you're at 482. Yeah. 482 yards. Yeah. You need to dial 1.7, or actually 1.8. 1.8. 1.8. Got your ears on? Got my ears on. All right. <laughs> Recoil is not bad at all. It's just the concussion. Ready? Do it. Holy shit. Woo! Wow, you're not a kid, and that blew everything. <laughs> I blew my bag off the table. <laughs> that is a trip. Did you ever shoot again? No, we had to empty it. <laughs> oh, I missed it, didn't I? Yeah, I couldn't tell where it went. I couldn't either. Obviously, I could. <laughs> I didn't dial up any. That's a little bit further than. Ah, uh, one more click ought to get it. All right. Oh. Missed it again, John. I don't know where that went. You hit the coyote dead on. I know. I'm aiming right on it. Well, I don't know what happened. You hit the kill zone the first time. Wind change? No. I shouldn't affect it that much. No, I, I wouldn't think. think so. I'm not changing anything on the... On the elevation, I'm gonna aim right above its front shoulder. Okay. Or, or right. Yeah, there it was. So it's a little low left. Okay. From the looks of it. Yeah. A little low left. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> you on the coyote again? Yeah, I'm gonna aim. Like center body high. Okay. That makes big boom boom. Woo! How many grains of powder? <laughs> 94. 94 grains of powder? 94. Oh my gosh. 94 grains of what? Rotumbo. Rotumbo. Yeah. yeah. The problem is they quit uh, quit selling Rotumbo to the civilian market. Really? Talked to the NRA rep up at uh, the show, and he said that it's going all to military contracts now. So he was proposing another powder for us to try. I'm going to try the 50 BMG powder in it and mm -hmm. see if that'll do it. Because it's a, it takes a real slow burning powder. Well, at some point my uh, card filled up, and I don't know how far I got, but I was shooting that 338 Lapua Wildcat. Holy smokes! It knocked everything off the table, including my camera bag. Things beast mode. Holy smokes. Whew. I learned a lot today. And that's why it's good to get with some people. Again, y'all, this PRS thing is fairly new to me. And I'm I'm kind of stumbling my way through it. And I'm getting better each time. And I'm, every time I figure out something new, I uh, learn something new. Today I learned two big things new. And I'll show you. So John, the wise man wisely, he uh I said, Man, I got these cartridges. They will not feed. And he looked at it and he went, I'll tell you a problem right there. It was right around your neck. There's a little, little lip. I said, yeah. 
So that minuscule little, he goes, rub your nail over. I said, yeah, I can feel that. That minuscule little bump there will keep it from chambering. Learn something new. I gotta prep my brass better, obviously. Second thing, huge thing that I learned new. So if you recall, I got back from that match uh, a couple of weeks ago. I was like, man, I did terrible. I, I had all the wrong dope. I was out here that day trying to figure it out. I shot at 250, no problem. I put a target up at 300 yards on this. So I thought, dialed it in on my app on my phone for 300 yards and I was low. I'm like, well, that's not right. That means I got to add about six tenths to it, five tenths in order to make it correlate with where I'm hitting on target. So I did, I downloaded that whole drop chart knowing that I didn't have internet service where I was going. And I was stuck with it all day. It was bad data, bad dope. I was out here, John the wise man wisely said, he's got a pair of Swarovski uh, binoculars with a rangefinder in it. Those are slick, I tell ya. He's like, that's 438. I'm over here. He said, mine's not saying that. She said that should be about 380 or whatever. He's like, are you sure about that? I was like, yeah, it's a, I just got this last year. It's a Leica. He goes, oh, those are nice. I said, oh, yeah, it's very nice. He goes, oh, I know what it is. I said, what's that? He goes, I shot a match. It's down in Georgia, I think it was. He said, we, everybody had one of these Leica rangefinders. He borrowed somebody's and, or had one, and it was way off. He shot terribly. He goes, little did I know it was set on meters instead of yards. He said, go through your menu see what it says I'm like all right so i started going through the menu i'm like here's something that says us mind you i probably didn't read the directions on it and probably got it i'm like woohoo sweet works i was in meters the whole time so all this stuff that i've been doing you know shooting and then putting in thinking i got the yardage and then dialing it and it's off and all that it's been the whole problem the whole time unbelievable so that's why it's uh, good to shoot with somebody who knows what they're doing <laughs> may learn something with that said after i got uh, <laughs> everything figured out i'm like oh makes sense now no wonder I and mean, i'm like oh that's 420 and i'm dialing 420 on my my app and it's off golly stupid stupid mm. now you know God, it's a beautiful evening. Whew. Cameron, if you're watching this, I gotta get these matches over with and we will get your uh, your build out here and shoot it. I've just been so focused on little, what little time I have to get out here and practice. This whole time I've been practicing with bad data. <laughs> Which means it's all been for naught. <laughs> for the most part. Got some loads worked up though. Jeez, the Pete's. Anyhow, folks, I do appreciate you tuning in. As always, uh, like, subscribe, share. Kenny's got the new hotness. I can't wait to get it. If you woke up next to me, would you go in for cuddles or throw me out the window? I'll get it out here at the range and start shooting it. I want to compete with that, too, if I can this year before I run out of time. If I can get it in time. If not, no big deal. I'll uh, rock this 25 Creed more um, probably the rest of the year. Finish out with it. And then hopefully get that new barrel for the AR and hopefully Kenny can spin me up a, a big barrel for the big gun with his new hotness. And I'll have it out here and we'll play with that. Till next time, y'all. Stay free. Hiya, I'm Sue. This is Derek. We're here because your son just looked us up online, you know, to watch us. So he watches you online? Yeah, you know, on his laptop. iPad, PlayStation. Mm, his phone, your phone. Smart TV projector. Yeah, anyway, we usually perform for adults, but your son's just a kid. He might not know how relationships actually work. We don't even talk about consent, do we? Now we just get straight to it. Yeah, and I'd never act like that in real life. Nah. <laughs> hey, Maddie. You all right? Sounds like it's time to have a talk about the difference between what you see online and real life relationships.